All right, good day, friend. This is Ted C. Yuba, your host, author of the Sub 4-Minute Extra Mile series, author of The New Think and Grow Rich, and we bring you all things in the spirit of The New Think and Grow Rich, including this review that we have on The Day Superman Died, Volume 6 in the Sub 4-Minute Extra Mile series. As usual, we've got a link that always just changes with it, whatever volume it is. So you can pick up this book, should you be so inclined, at thinkrich.com forward slash s 4M, which stands for sub four minute, forward slash vol, V O L, slash, I mean, dash zero zero six, thinkrich.com forward slash S4M, forward slash V O L, dash zero zero six. And our topic today, like all of them in the sub four minute extra mile series, is it's in a training system inspired by the one that Roger Bannister used that made him the first human to run the impossible sub four minute mile. And that is short, focused, regular, intense, intended training sessions. That's what the sub four minute mile is all about. And today we are talking about the day Superman died. And let's go into Amazon and see what's up. Here we are in the Amazon looking for... Ah, here we are, the day Superman died. Look inside. Yuppers. And let's go to look inside. Click there and we want to look... Well, the front cover, we get a big picture of that. There you go, the day Superman died. Majestic once still remains in the birds in the sky the blue sky very peaceful very peaceful far out hardly the scene of major action and table of contents there we go we got a good little group of numbers here and with this we'll flip over to the kindle fire version we'll go boom Boom. And we'll go to the table of contents here. And here we are, the, the contents. And by now we're getting just the training sessions in each session, in each volume. Reframe, do a reality check, jump back into action. Dramatic and extraordinary results. You know who's the boss. Riches are a result. You were not born to live like brutes. Contentment. A powerful attitude to adopt. It's no laughing matter. Something that works. The current flows endlessly. Look at that. The day Superman died, and you know how Kindle works. We are looking in the fire version now. Any of them, though, that you press the link, just like anything, goes to the article, goes to the training session. I still remember the day Superman died. It's been a few years ago now, but I remember it like it was yesterday. I was traversing the airport in Reno, Nevada, and I saw the headlines. There were about 12 different newspapers for sale. There were in all the machines, you know. And I caught the headlines. Superman dies at 52. Well, one of the reasons why I remember that clearly was that I happened to be exactly 52. It had some impact as we were of the same age, and I had always admired him, which is the real thing. Christopher Reeve was a hero, and he was a living Superman. The day prior, from a reaction to a drug, he had been with his son, watching him at a sporting event. It's not easy to be a quadriplegic, a quadriplegic and move around. It would have been so much easier to stay in his house and to watch TV or even to watch someone's iPhone video camera, you know, semi-live. 
You know, nope. He was made a quadriplegic in a horse riding accident, by the way. Equestrian accident. He played the most virile role on earth. He was a superb actor, an example of a master craftsman at his craft. You know the person by the work they do. He was superb, and though he went from that most virile role to being a quadriplegic, racked with pain and needing help, he never quit being a hero. His life was for others. He had a family. He was a motivational speaker. They would put him up on an incline and, and he could barely move. He just had peripheral vision, although he, he could move his eyeballs. And he could speak in, in a very limited manner. And it was with great effort. And he put everything he could into it so that he could help encourage and inspire others. It wasn't about the money. He didn't need the money. A true hero. May they say the same about you. We've all got our individual paths to go down, and it's not up for everybody to be a superman, and that's not what's required. But what is? Something that you should learn from this and that you should apply to yourself is the heroic effort in a cause bigger than yourself. You see, we do give back. You see, we are stewards of the gift of life, of the life force. That's why they call the time we live the present. In the evolutionary scheme of the gods, yes, the world is intended to be better because we lived. If we have lived. If we have lived, as Tennyson puts it in the mouth of Ulysses, not unbecoming men that strove with gods. Why not? You certainly can. That's the way Superman lived. And that's the effects he created. And if a quadriplegic can do it, a man wrapped with pain who required so much additional effort to do anything that you or I as normal people can do easily, well, what do you think? What do you think you should do? I know that for myself, I think, man, have I been creating too many excuses? I think it's time we all recognize the hero and strive to live the heroic life. Contribute to others. That's a Superman in my book. Hey, and here's another one. I'm giving you a quick look. You know, we're just strolling through the e-book version, not the Kindle version. This is what actually the physical version looks like. You can actually see the page numbers, uh, you know, and on each page, odd page, even page. But what we're looking for is, ah, well, this is a good one. to give you a lesson, as we say. Broadcast to the many, sell to the few. 
Today, you get a special marketing message from the insights of Ted Siuba as a direct response marketer. What does that mean? A direct response marketer, basically, it means that I put the message out to the masses as much as I can. I want everybody to know what's happening. And then, those who respond, I work with more deeply. I invest my time, money, emotions, and efforts with them. It's the act of utilization of the 80-20 rule. I already know when I wake up that 80% of the people I come into contact with aren't really going to have any interest in my message, at least 80%. And the lack of interest could range all the way from I'm too busy, I'm too preoccupied, to absolute unconcern, to I think what you're doing is demonic. It could literally go from one extreme to the other. Okay, so here's what I don't want to do. I don't want to beat myself up trying to convince the inconvincible. No, there is nothing demonic about holo magic, about the concepts of quantum physics, holographic universe, holo movement, E equals MC squared, but you know, Galileo, Copernicus and Galileo, Galileo had a telescope and he was discovering things, new worlds out there in the heavens, and he had to recant to survive his life. Not that that stopped progress in the big picture, but there's a lot of people that ignorantly resist and I don't want to beat myself up trying to convince the inconvincible. Nope. Put out the advertising. Let everybody know what you're about. Broadcast to the many. Only the few are called. Those are the ones, as we say, oh, Nirvana. Those are the ones you work with. Those are the ones that are easy to work with. All right, folks, I'll tell you what. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. We have looked at a review of Volume 6 in the Sub 4 Minute Extra Mile series, The Day Superman Died, so that you can defy the status quo in short, focused, regular, intense, intended training sessions. Redefine possibility. And you can get seven more multimedia quantum business acceleration training sessions free. Sub four minute extra mile dot com. Thanks for tuning in. Volume six, the sub four minute extra mile series, the day Superman died.